What's up, everybody? And I'm Coots. And I'm Tank. Thanks for joining us on another edition of This or That. Movies. Mm. Movies indeed, sir. Yeah. Movies indeed. So today's matchup is a Tarantino versus Tarantino. We did another, we did Pulp Fiction versus Reservoir Dogs before, but uh, this time, both Tarantinos, both newer. It's Django Unchained versus Inglorious Bastards. What do you got? Glorious Bastards. Yeah, not shocked. He he doesn't like Django Unchained. Uh, I, 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 to be fair, I don't think I've liked a Tarantino film since Inglorious Bastards, really. That's, you didn't like Hateful Eight? It was okay. It was okay. It's a good one. <laughs> I don't think it's as good as either one of these. Um, but I, I, There's a couple I probably should give a second watch. But... There's one, I bet you, what's the, there's always one I always forget, is it Death Proof that he did? What, there's something. Yeah, uh, that one was, that was like when they did the, when him and Robert Rodriguez did the horror film. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did not like that. I didn't like it compared to the other, to the one that Rodriguez did. So, like Django one. versus Inglorious Bastards, um, I've got to go with Django Unchained. And I love Inglorious Bastards, I think. I think it's just different. I know that, that, you know, a lot of historians, like their most hated filmmakers, Quentin Tarantino, because he takes history and, just, and, he, and he says like, yeah, what if it happened yeah. like this? And kind of just changes everything. And like, <clears throat> I get why that would frustrate some people, but it's an interesting take. And I, I'm curious right. to see them. And he's he's got the power now to write these scripts on his own terms with his own time and cast whoever he wants to cast. He obviously has people that he prefers to work with. Um, that he casts in these roles, and a lot of times he writes these roles for them now. Um, I just feel like Django Unchained is a better movie all around than Inglorious Bastards is. I love Brad Pitt. I think he was great in Inglorious Bastards. I think he was great in. Um, oh my God, what's the what's the one they just made with? Uh, uh, Hollywood. Yeah, uh, once, uh, all I'm thinking is Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. So that was really good as well. That's not what actually happened with Sharon Tate at all. Nah. Um, but he mixes it up. I get it. But Django, that movie is so brilliantly acted. It's honestly, Leonardo DiCaprio won an Oscar for The Revenant. And he absolutely, he should have won for Django and Shane. That's one of the greatest acting performances I've ever seen. For easy top 10, he hates Leonardo DiCaprio too, which is ridiculous. Yeah. But that's one of the greatest <laughs> acting performances of all time. There's so many tidbits and interesting facts. Jamie Foxx slayed it. Christoph Waltz is amazing in the I movie. Will, I do like Christoph Waltz. You can't really go wrong with Don that. Don Johnson's yeah. incredible as the, yeah. the Ku Klux Klan leader, the racist plantation owner. It's so good. Like, I can't imagine for the black community, how satisfying it was to watch that movie because I am not black at all and I found it incredibly satisfying to watch a former slave who was free just go wreck house and destroy all it. Like, I loved it. Yeah. And it's not, you know, I understand it's the, to the best of my knowledge, it's not based on a true story or anything, but I loved it. I loved that he was an amazing shot and they took the winner to teach him how to shoot and he was like, Everything and the the brittle brother. I, I like the way you bed, boy. Like yeah. I like the way you die, boy. Yeah. Like I just the way they were able to like layer that stuff in there with it. It's there's no way there's no easy path through that subject matter. No, no, it's over. And the, the, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's I think it's a it disgusting was, time in our it, in human history. It was done well enough that I just. It's so good. I don't understand how you don't like that. I don't understand how anybody doesn't like that movie. It's I, you know, it, again, unless you like really hate violence. And, no, you know, and I it, like violence. You know, he doesn't have an issue with violence no. at all. So that's the only reason I could think that you wouldn't, that anyone wouldn't like Django Unchained, is because they hate violence. Yeah, it's very violent. Well, no, because the glorious I mean, is way more way. violence <laughs> yeah. than Django Unchained. Yeah, I, it's probably one of those I'll probably have to give a rewatch. There's one movie that I was like, eh, it was. I just. I think after *Inglorious Bastards*, I just haven't gotten to a Tarantino film. I just haven't been super into him. Like, how many times have you seen *Django Unchained*? Once. You gotta watch it again. 
once. You gotta watch it again. There's gonna be something that I can't stand that you're like, you have to watch that, and then that's gonna be, I'll watch whatever it is that you think I need to watch again. So I, I can't get you to watch Dark Crystal. <laughs> I've been trying for three. Uh, <laughs> I don't wanna do that. I've been trying so long. I don't long. wanna do that. It's not that I don't like or appreciate the Dark Crystal, it's that it scares the crap, but it freaks me out, I don't like it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I will watch the movie I will watch The Dark Crystal if you watch Django Unchained. I watched that a couple times if you watch Dark Crystal. If I watch Dark Crystal once, you'll watch Django Unchained twice? Yes. Done. All right. Done. All right. It's on film now. Yeah. <laughs> Django Unchained, they're both phenomenal movies. Like, they both have really timeless scenes. The basement bar scene in Inglorious Bastards yeah. is amazing. There's many to actually, my, you know something? My mom just commented on this. After that scene, I've noticed that ever since then, I've, I've switched between three, three, and three. Oh. I, do, I do all of them now. I only used to do this. Because that's the American three, right. like that's how we all do three right. here in this country generally. And I do this all the time. It's really a lot more comfortable <laughs> yeah. to do this I've to done be three. And honestly, I'm like, I like that. This one, I still, it's not my go-to. Nah. It, maybe a couple times I've done this, but I did that like three times and my mom was like, why did you do it like that? And yeah. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, what? I was like... What are, you, what are you talking about? She's like, you did three like this instead of like that. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I mix it up. I use all three because this is the European way. And I'm like, right. it's, a, it's a scene. It's a, they make special mention of it in a Quentin Tarantino movie. And that's, you know, and yep. that's Inglorious Bastards. And that, that basement bar scene is it's phenomenal. Fantastic. Yeah, I love scene. Mike Myers' cameo in Inglorious Bastards. That's great. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's just, they're both really good movies. But I got to give the edge to Django Unchained. I'm like I, I'm like one of the least racist white people you've ever come across in your life, and this is true. Watching plantation owners and and slavers get shit beat out was really satisfying for yep. me. So yeah, for for me it's Django Unchained. Yeah, and for you it's of course, Master, I guess. Yeah. So thank you for watching this edition of This or That movie. Please make sure to like and share and comment on this video. Please follow our Facebook page, Radio Rhapsody with Coots and Tank, and our YouTube channel. Please subscribe, Radio Rhapsody with Coots and Tank. I'm Coots. And I'm Tank. And we'll see you next time, kids. Peace.